Hello everyone, you already know who it is, for those of you that don't, I'm Dead Ponds, I'm here to tell you how to do the Pit of Heresy as fast as humanly possible. Let's go. Follow this path to the first encounter. Welcome to the Necropolis. For this encounter, you need to take care of three high-value targets using a high relic sword that you can get from sword bearers spawned all across the arena. In order to find out where these high-value targets are, jump down to the nearest door, take care of the Revenant Knight, and go inside. There'll be a sword bearer. Killing the sword bearer drops the high relic sword. And in the same room, there are symbols in the center. These symbols tell you where your high-value targets are. Simply find where these symbols are out in the environment, kill the Revenant Knights at each one, and take care of the high-value targets inside. For the knight, you'll be using the sword's light attacks, so take it down. For the Shrieker, you're going to block with a sword to send all incoming damage back at it. And for the Wizard, you're going to be using the sword's heavy attack, which is ranged in a dungeon to take it down. Now remember all that, you're going to be using it during the final encounter of the dungeon. Once you've taken care of all high value targets, there'll be a beam of light at one of the pillars. This will be your exit. Take care of the Revenant Knight one last time and get your loot. Follow this path to the next encounter, the Tunnels of Despair. Welcome to the Tunnels of the Despair. Here's a map of the arena. This encounter is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is kill knights and deposit the orbs they drop at the end of each of the tunnels. And for every orb you deposit, they'll disappear, so you'll need to get a new one, while also avoiding unkillable godlike ogres. There are four knights in the entire play area, but all you need to do is kill three. Once you've opened all the gates, get ready for the next encounter, the Chamber of Suffering. Welcome to the Chamber of Suffering. For this encounter, you'll need to kill heretical knights. These knights will spawn on the left, middle, and right side entrances to the arena. Once you've killed these knights, they'll drop an orb. You'll need to pick these up and deposit them next to the exit. And for every time you make a deposit, boomer knights will spawn up top, along with more acolytes and thrall. And while all that's going on, you'll also need someone to stand underneath the totem to make sure it doesn't wipe the team. But while this person stands underneath the totem, they'll continuously get stacks of Curse of Suffering. Each stack increases the amount of damage enemies deal to you. At five times Curse of Suffering, you'll just about get one-shotted by most enemies. So before this person hit times five, have them switch out and go grab up some orbs. You'll need six orbs to complete the encounter. Once you've completed the encounter, a chest will spawn next to the exit. After you've gotten your loot, go ahead and open the exit and jump down to the harrow. Welcome to the Harrow. This encounter is pretty straightforward. You'll need to find and kill three hive wizards that are scattered across a maze-like arena. From the starting area, a wall across from you will tell you where these wizards are. Here's a map of the arena. Once you've killed all three wizards, head to the exit and prepare for the final encounter, the Cradle of Damnation. Welcome to the Cradle of Damnation. This encounter will use the exact same mechanics from the very first encounter. You'll need to use the Hive Relic Sword to take out three high value targets. But this time, every time you take care of a high value target, they'll drop an orb. You'll need to deposit an orb in each of the spots in the center of the arena. Once you've deposited three orbs, damage phase will begin. What you'll need to do is step inside the inner arena to do any damage to Zolmac. I personally recommend using either Falling Guillotine or the Lament to dish out as much damage as possible. But watch out, you'll have roughly 30 seconds to do as much damage as possible or just simply take him down. At the end of that time, you'll instantly kill whoever's inside the inner arena. Rinse and repeat until the encounter is completed. If you vibe with these kind of guides, please leave a like, and hell, why not subscribe to the channel, it inspires me to make more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, and have a good one. Bye.